Hey everyone. Welcome back. Hughes Potager. I want to show you this cold frame we made. So here's the new cold frame. To back onto the greenhouse. You can see those sliding shower doors I got earlier they clean from us so you can see there's one there and it's got some board on top of it and there'll be another one here about three foot away and the idea of putting the frame around it, around the shower board is to allow to attach uh, leads to the cold frame which I'll put on hinges. So you'll have a higher backboard and then a lower one here. This bed I'm also reducing the length not only to match with the six foot shower board, which is the same as a six foot greenhouse behind it, but because this path, since we put in the greenhouse, it's quite thin and I want to widen it. And there's the there's the tops are from an old cold frame I had. There's two of them there. The spade is in, leaning against. So I'll reduce those in size in size to match. And this will be a nice environment for growing some of my salad crops. You can see I basically built a frame around the shower doors. To give you a better look. Ah, you can see I've got a bottom of wood screwed in there. So it just folds up. And I have a small clasp to keep it in place. So yeah, just put a frame around the, the two shower door frames. A framework here, which I stapled the plastic to. It's good quality polytunnel plastic. And then I made the lids to fit. That's quite a large one. And then a smaller one here. Both of which are on some hinges. So I don't have a, a soil temperature in there at the moment. But you can be sure on the cooler days it will be far warmer. Far more sheltered environments to grow the, the salad crops. Got some lettuce in there. Got some beetroot seedlings sown, some spinach seedlings sown, so they'll all be perfect for growing. stuff in there. On a cooler day like today, I simply undo that. I put that baton down like so and leave it just so there's a little bit of air flowing through. And then on frosty nights I can close it completely. So happy with that. Anyway, hope you're all taking care, looking after yourselves, staying indoors as much as possible, staying away from people as much as possible.
hopefully this virus will pass quickly. I'll do a I'll do a full tour of the allotment site and you can see the progress and just what what else is happening. We'll do that probably the next day. Let you have a look. Until then, take care. Talk to you soon.